Hey folks, it's Weber2 coming at you with another video review, and I just want to wish my YouTube friend uh, Terry Fan a very happy birthday. It's June 4th right now. Actually, no, it's uh, March 26th, so I decided to get this uh, video done early so I can get it all set up and everything else. Okay, so today we're doing a video review on the exclusive uh, sneak preview Protoform Optimus Prime from Transformers the Movie 2007. So here he is in his entry mode spacecraft. This is meteor shaped form. Uh, yeah. As you can see, he's got um, some nice detailing here with some touches of silver, um, some black, and flat, flat gray. And uh, some gold here, um, blue here. It's um, I think it's supposed to be an homage to his, uh, his truck mode with this, these um, windshield things. And you've got the Autobot symbol right here, and uh, got these flames that are attached here. I believe these are supposed to be thrusters on the side. He's got three wheels on here, so he can roll freely. Well, not that great. <laughs> so, yeah. Just hope I'm not leaving out anything else. So, yeah, I got this uh, this figure from a friend of mine as an early birthday gift. Yeah, she's one of my co-workers. She's moving out right now. But, and she also got me the Protoform Starscream. But enough about that. Let's get on to this guy. So, so far so good. He looks great in this uh, Cybertron alt mode. Um, as you know, all the protoform transformer figures are deluxe class sized. Um, they never made a, a Voyager class or a, I don't know about leader class, but Voyager class would be a, a more convenient size, in my opinion. That is. All right. Um, let's do a size comparison. Okay. Here he is with 2007 uh, Voyager Prime. You know, he's um, home about the same length, so it's just, except this is just a detachable flame, so if you take it off, he's a uh, lot smaller. So, uh, yeah. Don't want to be zoomed out too much. Yes. Yeah. So you see the difference here. Yeah, so, yeah, there you have it. I think I like it better without the flames attached to him, if, for some reason, I don't know, but I know it gives him the look of him uh, flying or getting burned up in Earth's atmosphere when they're approaching Earth after they got uh, Bumblebee's signal. So, yeah. Yeah, I would do a... Uh, also do a protoform star screen with this figure, but it would take up too much of my time. So, if there's not much to talk about, let's uh, run through this transformation. So, the best thing to do is to open these up first. That way you can reach in here and with your finger and open up these side panels. Like so. And I'm gonna attach that side down. Get his, um, Arm folded out. His weapon will get that in a bit. Okay, and rotate the arms up like this. Rotate the, the waist like so. It's got a very loose ratchet joint there. Split the legs apart. And we will get these leg panels down like so. One of them is really loose, so yeah, this one here. It's got a lot of loose parts on here. Um, not to mention the the thigh joints. Then they fold out the feet. This, okay, and uh, for this part, you um, open this up and just fold out his head like so. We pull this black piece in like. So, pull down the 
the back kibble, whatever it's called. And here we have Optimus Prime in his Cybertron form. They give you a close up of his face. Yeah, he's got light piping here. He's got orange light piping. For articulation, his head is very stiff, but it can go 360. Arms can go 360. Those, those are stiff too. Elbow joints. They can also twist. Um, his thigh joints I mentioned were are very loose. And his knee joints, they're very tight. Ankle joints are fairly tight. And these arms can go up like that. So yeah, that's him. Um, yeah, I'm not very, very fond of his uh, side panels being sticking out like that. If you want to, you can either hold him like this with. That's how he came out of the package. But then his his waist joint here. And that's a little loose too. The the waist joint I forgot to mention about. Yeah. So, yeah. But then it gives them very less motion there. So it's I just think it's just best to leave them out like in the back like so. Okay, mm. yeah. Whoop. <laughs> just falling over. <laughs> there we go. Um Okay. Now for his weapon. You see his gun here? Pull this out, and unlike Star Screens, this one doesn't have projectile missile. Unfortunately, don't know why. And it is, um, his head doesn't have an armor head either. And you put this this flame on here, or or blast whatever it is. Just insert that into the hole. And his hand is really tight. It's hard to get his his gun in here. So I'm gonna try my best. Not screw up this video. There we go. Thought it'd be harder than that. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, figures are bound to have loose joints somewhere, including the a little bit in the head here. But it's no big deal. Okay, for next size comparison, let's get him with the leader class. See that? Yeah, he dwarfs in size, obviously. You can see for yourselves. There's not much to say about it, but that's just about it. But um, to pick this up, I, I'm suggesting you could buy them in a loose, because the packaging is skyrocketing price already. My my friend said she paid about forty bucks for on Amazon, but. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be that much, but it's very nice of her to pick this up for me. It's pretty cool. It goes any Transformers collection if if you're a completist. So overall, I give this figure a nine out of ten. It's not that bad looking. It's just you know it's got a lot of kibble in the back here. Yeah, I forgot to point that out. Oh well. So. Yeah, so I say if um, you pick this up if you're interested, he is worth having though. Okay, this concludes my review on the Protoform Optimus Prime, and I still want to say happy birthday to Terry Fan. Hope you have a good one. So, Swepper 2 signing out.